set this up. This is a surprise, unplanned live stream, but I'm not going to be on for uh, for very long. So, but this is kind of a test more than anything else. And also, this will be uploaded to the uh, the channel after the fact as a video. So, it'll be uh, or, a good thing. Uh, for very long. Oh, there we go. The volume's up. So. Uh, just in case anyone is interested in watching this afterwards. So again, this is totally unannounced and I apologize for not announcing it. I wasn't planning anything, but uh, again, I hope everyone can understand here. Uh, again, totally, totally unannounced, uh, impromptu. Uh, I'm not going to be on for very long, but I think more than anything, this is just a test of the, the Wi-Fi, the, the new place, to see if everything is not falling apart and and also i think most important of all most important of all i wanted to uh, just say hello and i thought gosh the best way to do that would be uh, even though we are separated by miles and miles and miles of distance i thought the 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 live touch would be the the most uh, uh, it would be the most fun for me so here i am in the live chat mode. So again, I apologize. I very much apologize. Not planned. Nothing was planned in terms of a of a schedule. I should do that. As you know, I'm very, very bad when it comes to planning and doing all this. So, uh, uh, but this will be uploaded as a video after the fact. So just wanted to use the live stream format as a means to to uh, update everyone. So, uh, greetings from Tokyo, my dear, dear friends. This is Daisuke, and I am very, very, very happy to see you, whether it's in the live chat format or the live stream, or maybe as a video after the fact. If you are uh, wanting to uh, uh, leave behind a comment or reach out to me in any way, you can always do so in the comment section or in the live chat, or uh, I'm on Instagram. You can reach out to me through there. I know people have reached out to me via the Messenger Messenger uh, app there, so uh, you can do that. Not a problem. So, just wanted to give you a little heads up of what's going on, and uh, uh, yeah, that's that's the the, the very unprepared uh, topic for today from my vantage point. Just to give you a little bit of an update as to where I am at the moment. And then from my vantage point, most importantly, just to touch base and to say hello. Uh, I feel like I haven't uh, spoken to you in some time uh, recently, especially in the live stream uh, format, because as you know, or some of you may know, we had to delay our live stream uh, schedule uh, discussions because of uh, my move. So the move is now complete. And so let me now just give a few details about that. It's not totally finished in terms of the organization. In fact, as you might guess or might see from the back, the the shelves here are pretty much set as terms of where they are. The the room I I might make a video afterwards once everything is a bit uh, a bit more how should I put it tidy. Uh, things in the back are very very chaotic at the moment, and everything is out of order. It was just a matter of putting things on the shelf first to clear out the the floor space in order to be able to fit in the rest of the furniture and the move. Now everything is more or less settled. The dust is settled in terms of the big items. Now we can uh, focus on the the uh, minutia, the details, uh, right? And so the part of the details, at least from my point of view, in terms of my own space, is the the shelves. So everything here is on the shelves. So uh, pretty much uh, the entire Criterion collection, I think, is embodied within this within this space here. Let me. And if you're interested, let me just show you here. So the, again, it's a mess, so I apologize. So I'm just gonna stand up here. And so we have in back, there are some videotapes that I have to put up. There's some whiskey there that I have to uh, put in, away in the, in the closet. But let's see here, there we go. So the shelves begin here and they kind of go around here and then they kind of go back around into this area here, which is the, the area that I'm facing. So we've been able to create a kind of wall. And uh, you can see that there's also a space for a little TV 
and a little that's the old CD player that I still have with the laser disc player and a small small thing there for uh, uh, what am I saying Blu-ray so but all of that is in a mess and so you kind of turn it around we've been able to create a kind of curl in the wall or or a little corner and so we have in essence a criteria not closet i would say but like a little little space so so that's the situation that's the situation but as you can see from that very poor poor presentation everything is a mess still so everything is a mess i we moved on tuesday and then wednesday thursday friday uh, i had to go to work or i had to take care of some things and so and uh, also the right at the same time taking care of this thing and this and then and today is saturday morning so now finally huh uh, able to take a little breath and so uh, now uh, today maybe the task at hand from my vantage point saturday and sunday is to try to begin the, the process of putting things in some kind of semblance of order so uh, there's that in the meantime of course i have been trying to to maintain my sense of uh, of relaxation to the point possible by uh, listening to some of the uh, CDs that I was able to unearth while I was uh, moving and also watching some movies uh, while I can. So, um, uh, so yeah, so that's the situation as it stands. And I think, I think if all is, is in order, and I'll go to the chat uh, momentarily here, if all is in order, then I think this is the setup that I, I might do for the for the making of videos for purposes of YouTube uploads. So the vantage point is pretty much the same. I, I wasn't necessarily thinking about that, but um, uh, I suppose I could have done it. I suppose I could have done it one more angle. I suppose, I, let me say, I suppose I could have done it at this angle. There's this, this is from the other angle. So uh, I suppose I could have done it here, but uh, again, I'm not sure. Uh, what what this is so uh, all these fun little details to to still figure out but now uh, there's this angle which is from the other side of course or there is this angle here which is uh, basically giving uh, I'm allowed to sit here in this corner of the the shelf space which I think is a little bit maybe easier for me I'm not sure but anyway that's those are little things that we can always figure out going forward but in any event that is the situation that's the situation right now it's now saturday morning where i am a uh, very very slow lazy saturday morning because i i'm uh, uh my family and i are uh, very exhausted uh, well at least i can speak for myself when i say i'm very exhausted and uh, i'm feeling aches and pains all over from my from the move it, it took a lot out of me actually more than i was uh, anticipating so uh, I was able at last to get a kind of a sound night's sleep last night for the first time in a while. So that was good. And so, uh, and it's all good. It's all good. So the, the, the area is quiet. Uh, it's, it's a nice, peaceful area. Um, and, uh, just a, a very, very convenient. I mean, there are good things. There are maybe some, uh, inconveniences as well. Some minor inconveniences in terms of, of the living space. Oh, the, the older area, the older house had this, the old house had this, the new house doesn't, you know, those sorts of things. But at the same time, oh, the old house didn't have that, but the new house has, you know, so those sorts of, uh, that kind of back and forth in terms of comparing and contrast with any, anything, including a move. But I think from my vantage point, the positives totally, totally outweigh uh the negatives here in terms of this living space and also i i i might have mentioned before walk we are within walking distance from toho studios so you can walk out i can walk out of the 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 side door here walk out there's a little river which is about um uh, maybe about uh, less than uh, you, just a couple minutes walking just follow the river down uh for about uh, uh, 10 minutes i think by on foot uh and then you're right there in front of toho studios so they don't have tours uh toho studios they don't have any tours and, and so you can't go inside there unfortunately but on the outside of the of the huge building uh there is uh, there are these murals of works of art uh, depicting famous scenes and photographs and stills from the famous iconic films of toho studio era so those being uh, in particular seven samurai 
Kurosawa's Seven Samurai, and also uh, Gojira, Godzilla. So, and there's also a huge Godzilla statue there as well. So maybe I can try. I've taken some pictures, and I think I've uploaded them here and there on the internet. But, uh, but in any event, that is the situation uh, right now in this very slow, lazy Saturday morning for me. So in terms of video uploads, I uh, I have on the on the the, the menu. I've always been thinking about it, so I've, I'm ready to do worst person in the world. So I'm all ready to Okja. I've already I've gone through that. Wow, what a great release! I've gone through the the re-release of the Virgin Suicides, the 4K. Wow, wow, Okja too, right? Wow, wow. So so there's I haven't been able to finish the uh, the exploration of any of the other uh, the titles. So I haven't been able to finish. A Raging Bulls release from Criterion, which looks great so far, by the way. Uh, I haven't been able to get into Summertime, and I have received through the mail uh, Drive My Car and uh, Devil in Blue Dress, but I haven't been able to open those yet. So, uh, so that is the situation in terms of titles and thinking. And also, there's Angelopolis Works, uh, The Traveling Players, it's, that is also brewing. Uh, also, uh, Scanners, my goodness, I should say, in terms of David Cronenberg works, uh, I've seen Scanners many times, but that's the next film that's in the, in the, uh, uh, in the, uh, what do you call it? it it's, what am I, I'm, 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 I'm forgetting, forgetting words. Uh, that's the, that's what's uh, on deck. Yeah, there we go. Uh, that's next on the, on the David Cronenberg cinema journey, so. Uh, so there's uh, so I've been watching scanners a lot m um, more than more than I I think is <laughs> I, I'm w watching it a lot so so uh, and also I should say too that watching scanners during the move uh, you have things it's sometimes you can't cook or you can't so you oh let's let's go have a pizza let's let's have pizza and so we uh, take out pizza order out for pizza and then we have it delivered and we eat together and then there's some uh, and everyone goes to sleep and maybe it's a little bit late and so uh, there's some leftover pizza and i'm still hungry and so i'm eating pizza with tomato sauce and everything and then i'm watching scanners so you think oh good gosh now watching you know tomato sauce and and red sauce uh uh, pizza and, and uh, you know with with cheese and everything and then uh, eating that and watching scanners wow what a great combination and in fact it was it was very very pleasant from my from my vantage point you know it was uh, it was it reminds me of a of an anecdote when I was in college and uh, I was eating pizza in a pizza restaurant and I saw um, I saw the the uh, the actress Claire Danes uh, sitting across, uh, not in the same, but sort of uh, diagonally across, and she was eating pizza. And uh, this was around the time that <clears throat> uh, the film Princess Mononoke uh, was released in the theaters in the United States. And it was, uh, she, uh, uh, she had voiced, uh, provided the voice for the English soundtrack of the main character. <clears throat> and so uh, there's a scene in, the, in that film involving uh, sort of uh, um, uh, maybe type of blood and the covering of blood on the face and when and then I when I saw Claire Danes across the the way there across the aisle uh, eating pizza I wasn't staring I, I didn't want to uh, disturb I don't want to look like I was just staring that would be impolite that would be rude so I was just kind of uh, doing that but uh, she was eating pizza and then it, it, the 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 image of of uh, the Princess Mononoke uh, scene involving the, the the blood on the face suddenly emerged in my head for some reason. But in any event, yes, watching pizza, I'm well, not watching pizza, I guess watching pizza and eating pizza is, is a good thing, but watching scanners and eating pizza, that is a very interesting combination indeed. So uh, that is just my way of saying, of course, that scanners is up next in terms of the David Cronenberg film discussion. So uh, there's that. Also Superman, Superman live stream discussions. Uh, I haven't forgotten. I haven't forgotten at all. So, um, but and a lot to do uh what's the phrase so much to do uh so little time uh as it as the saying goes including uh what uh uh right um uh, jack nicholson in in the bat in not ba in the batman but batman says so much to do and so little time right uh you are my number one guy so uh that reminds me too that one of these days i'd love to do batman film live stream 
discussions. But sorry for this uh, all over the place discussion. This is not meant to be any type of uh, uh, orderly uh, thing, as you can see. Just a very casual, random live stream hello and an update. And so in that spirit, let me now go to the, the the live chat and uh, we will go from there. So Mikey Eli is here. Hello. Finn is here. Hello. Henry and Trooper Film Productions is here. Timothy. Timothy Ardiver. Chun Link is here. Hello. Tyler Young. Hello. You're very kind. Thank you so much. Cinemat. Hello, Cinemat. Um, oh, yes. Tyler Young. Yes. You said you asked me about Godard films. Jean-Luc Godard films. I, I saw that message. Yes. I'm sorry I haven't responded, but I have seen it, and I will try to respond in due course. Well, thank you very much for that comment or the the uh, talking about Godard. And uh, yes, and also, uh, uh, of course, as you mentioned, there are a number of Godard films uh, in the Criterion Collection as an example. Um, so uh, during the course of, what is it, the discussions on the recent releases of the Criterion Collection, we've spoken about those releases that have been made uh, by Criterion regarding some of the Godard titles. Uh, very interesting. But I'll try to get back to you as soon as I apologize for not being able to, to respond uh, quickly. But uh, I hope uh, I, I, I haven't forgotten and I have seen and I have been thinking about it because there's a number. Of, um, it's actually quite a complicated, uh, complex, complicated question. Because as you know, Godard's works are very, very, it depends on the period. <laughs> It depends on the year, uh, or depends on the moment, or depends on the history, depends on the context that we're talking about. Because Godard's films, in many many ways, where they operate so brilliantly, one of those ways is, uh, as you know, how they operate within the the fabric of the social context, the social political context. And not to say that uh, one needs to be wholly, how should I say, steeped in the the social political cultural history of the time. Uh, one doesn't need to be necessarily a sociologist or a historian to be able to still appreciate and love Godard's films. But what I am saying is that there is a way in which there is a type of a kinetic energy between the, the work and what it's trying to say in a given moment. In many ways, Godard's films are perhaps the opposite of being timeless. I would say that they are very much part of their time. It's not anything against, against, uh, against the works of Godard, but... Um, um, uh, I, I guess perhaps in that way, the the film that I think s resonates a lot, uh, both in that way and also maybe in in my own personal view, is probably Weekend. But again, it's a very complex question because we get into different phases of his career, when you, especially when you get out of the '60s into the '70s, into the '80s, beyond. But, Sorry about that. Uh, I'll try to get back to you with a more organized uh, comment to your great question, Tyler. Cinemat says, seeing an Ozu film in theaters in a few... Whoa, Cinemat, what film are you seeing? Uh, what Ozu film? Incidentally, while I was cleaning up, I, I was able to unearth the box of CDs. And one of the CDs was uh, my, one of my cherished ones uh, that I uh, 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 was able to purchase here in Japan. This is a collection of, of Ozu film uh, score, not, yes, uh, s music selections, uh, double disc CDs. So I've been able to listen to that. Also, incidentally, I've been listening to, if you're thinking of a Criterion connection, I love this, this, I've had this forever. This is the soundtrack to Shortcuts, the Robert Altman film Shortcuts with Annie Ross. Annie Ross, the great singer. I first discovered Annie Ross not through her songs, but through her appearance in Superman 3 as Vera, Vera Webster. Uh, and so, uh, because that, that was what, what, early 80s, 83, I want to say. Um, uh, and so the, uh, is it 80? Can someone correct me? Am I right? Superman 3 is from 1983, I hope. If I'm wrong, please correct me. Um, and so the uh, but yes, of course, as I grew older, I discovered Annie Ross, uh, the legendary Annie Ross. And one of the ways that she expresses her legendary status is through her appearance, both on screen and also via music uh, with Robert Altman's shortcut. So this is fantastic. And I've had this since forever. The, the case is cracked, as you can see. Um, and there's it also um, 
speaking of Raging Bull, here's my uh, cherished Raging Bull CD soundtrack. This is the, the the actual tracks that were used in the film, so I'm very pleased with that. And also my my uh, my treasure, which is the unreleased soundtrack music from George A. Romero's Dawn of the Diaries. That, as I said, I, when I saw this in the in that CD shop many a year ago, I was but my mind was blown because it was at the time it was kind of hard to find all these tracks gathered but then and what does it start with number one the gonk as i've mentioned you know if and when i shuffle off this mortal coil and i die one of the pieces of music i want to pl have played at my funeral is the gonk i want i'm going to write that i'm going to write that in i don't know my will or something so uh, you uh, please play the following pieces of music at my funeral, the gonk. What else would there be? It would maybe be um, uh, the 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 end piece uh, from Thief, uh, Confrontation, right? Michael Mann worked Thief. Uh, that work. Um, oh gosh, so many to choose from. I'll, I'll, have, to, I'll have to think about that. Um, and oh, incidentally, to the other CDs here that I've been listening to, Go, the Go Best of Godzilla, 1984, 1995. I think our dear friend Jerome Weaselberry. Uh, it's uh, maybe a few months back was going through the, the Godzilla soundtracks in her wonderful, wonderful way. Uh, Jerome Weaselberry, great, great channel. If you haven't checked it out already, please check it out and subscribe. But this is this is great. Uh, this is the uh, uh, Heisei era stuff. So uh, I remember uh, Godzilla versus Destroya in particular. That always pulls at the heartstrings, if you know what I mean. And then this too, this is one of my prized possessions in terms of content, which is Pennies from Heaven. This is the the uh, the BBC TV series uh, soundtrack. And as you know, for those of you who know Pennies from Heaven, Dennis Potter starring Bob Hoskins, the great, great Bob Hoskins. Um, the, uh, the, the music is the key. Um, so when I saw this, when it was first released, again, many a year ago, again, mind blown. This and The Singing Detective uh, were prize positions. I had The Singing Detective too, but I lost it. Oh, gosh. But uh, what else do I have here in terms of CDs? Oh, there's, oh, here we go. There's George Harrison's All Things Must Be. All right, so anyway, um, let's see. Cinem so, Cinemat, um, uh, what film, what Ozu film are you going to watch in the theaters? Please let me know. I, I'd be very curious to hear about that. Just the Discs, Brian Sauer. I was just talking with someone. I've been getting so many comments saying, Oh, Daisuke, I found your channel through Brian Sauer's discussion. Or I found your channel through... Uh, uh, through uh, 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 just the discs or something. So thank you, thank you, Brian. I uh, uh, it reminds me, I haven't yet sent you uh, what I said I would send you in terms of our recent Brian De Palma discussion. The record, so I'll, I'll have to send that to you a little bit later. I apologize for being very, very behind with that. I hope you can forgive me. Just the discs, Brian Sauer, another great one, another great, great, great place to go. Uh, Seth is here. Seth, it's nice to see you. Very much uh, appreciated, my dear friend. And I will get back to you about the brood. Martin. Oh, Martin, it's nice to chiggers. Hello. The Star Wars Kid 123 is here from Ohio. Great. Uh, my parents, many years ago, when they were still alive, they lived for a little bit in Ohio. They lived in Copley, Ohio, which is near Akron, Ohio. So I had the opportunity, the, the wonderful chance to visit them and uh, stay there for a bit a lovely place uh, and uh, uh, uh really and uh, they there was um i remember too there were some um if i remember correctly from barnes and nobles there as well this is many years ago but i hope you're well my friend jared wignall is here it's nice to see you and uh, yes mike says i really miss i miss these impromptu live streams reminds me of the old days yes i should try to try to do this again i suppose uh matthew's here matthew uh matthew lockwood is talking about tinto brass oh very interesting yes yes i haven't spoken about uh, any of those uh, films but uh, uh, i find them very very fascinating uh, buck bell is here hello it's nice to see you oh it's so great to see you and what did you say about to watch the beyond with my brother oh Oh, let me know how that, that turns out. Oh, great. Just got the Blu-ray. Congrats. Congrats. Um, and uh, Mike says, got to have the whiskey in the cinema room. Yes, yes. I don't, I don't usually drink and 
and uh, make a video and drink while I'm doing that. I don't usually do that, but uh, uh, and I don't. I'm not a heavy drinker. I don't drink every day. I, I don't. Uh, my body can't take it. I, I think uh, as I'm getting older, I'm getting weaker. I, I seem to recall I, when I was younger, I was, seemed to be able to hold my liquor a little bit more uh, more solidly than I am now. So. Uh, but uh, I still enjoy the the occasional the occasional dram, and so. Uh, uh, but I, uh, 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 gosh, uh, I haven't had a, a whiskey drink in in. Uh, well, actually, I take that back. When did I, when did I have a last uh, drink of sip of whiskey? Was it just before I moved, or maybe the night? I forget. Anyway, anyway, yes, the whiskey is in the room. Uh, let's see. Gerald is here. It's nice to see you, Gerald. Yes. Jared says, uh, Jared Wigdall says, looks good even if it's a mess right now. It is a total, total mess, my dear friend. It is, it is a mess from the world of messes. It is, it, it takes first place in the competition of messes in a world that is, uh, that has all these countries that have mess in the title and the world is called mess and it's in a uh, you know, constellation of stars, which is called the mess constellation. This is messy, messy, messy. Uh, but thank you very much. I'm I'm very very happy to be able to 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 at least uh, settle down. I mean, that's the most important thing at the moment. Now it's just putting it uh, putting all the pieces back together. Um, yes. Okay. Oh, Eddie S Films and stuff is here. Hello, it's nice to see you. Really, really nice. Uh, let's see. Uh, scrolling down, Gerald says watching King Kong thirty three on Laserdisc tonight. Congratulations, Laserdisc. I'm assuming, or may I assume, is that the Criterion or one of the Criterion releases or not? In any event, uh, I hope you enjoy, uh, my dear friend. Uh, John Construct is here. Hello, it's nice to see you. Uh, Matthew Lockwood says also, do you like watches at all? I recently added a Seiko and Orient Automatic to my collection. I really admire Japanese timepieces and their amazing craftsmanship. That is another thing I have not spoken about on this channel, but I adore watches. I'm a, I'm a big fan of wrist watches, uh, men's watches. So I, I don't have one on me at the moment because it's, although you can kind of tell I've been out in the sun, you know, do, riding the bicycle, uh, one, uh, transporting the DVDs, laser discs, and Blu-rays a little bit at a time, and and the sun, the sun was very hot, and so you can see the the uh, the suntan and the watch. So that's so that's that's the the watch suntan thing there. Uh, so uh, anyway, here we go. So yes, I'm a I'm a, a big admirer of watches. So uh, Seiko and Orient Automatic. Oh, very very wonderful. I hope you enjoy those, my friend Seiko. I wonder what. Uh, what Seiko this is, uh, please let me know. Uh, you can let me know in the comments or you can reach out to me in Instagram. Um, uh, private message me if you want. I'd, I always love to talk about watches in that way, but I don't talk about watches on this channel. So um, so let's see. Zyrother, Zyrother's here. It's nice, nice to see you. Uh, let's see. Uh, 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 Zamorak720, it's, uh, hello, and you say, hey, ma hey, maybe you'll run into Hideaki on the outside door. <laughs> I, you know, I don't think it's an entrance that, that, it, it's kind of the, it's the studio itself, so, so, and you can see the back door, it's, it's kind of like the, it's, it's kind of like the entrance, well, I guess, yeah, maybe if, if, uh, you can see the car running up, and that's where, I guess, you know, if you're watching, um, uh, if you if like Sunset Boulevard or something, that's the gates to the uh, the studio. So I suppose if I'm lucky, you know, maybe I'm there. Maybe someone of the same stature like Gloria Swanson might go and say Hideaki Anno, who knows, or or uh, another uh, a filmmaker or artist of uh, uh, of, uh, of uh, considerable, uh, say uh, uh, maybe um, uh, maybe considerable uh, wow factor at the moment for whatever reason. But yes, yes, in any event. Uh, if even if that uh, weren't the case, still the act of being there, this the opportunity to be there, to feel the vibes, there's it just it's quite thrilling. So, um, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, my friend. Let's see. Uh, Pascal is here. Hello. Thank you so much, Pascal. Um, and 
see Zyrother is talking uh, as about yes video drome you mentioned the 4k version I saw the the email I got the email from arrow arrow I got the email I just checked it out like an hour hour and uh, the arrow email an hour ago and uh, it said oh what is it six new titles so uh, we're just releasing six new titles I opened oh video drome wow <laughs> so video drome 4k and they have that that's poster wow <laughs> All right, so uh, yes, yes, very exciting indeed. So very, very exciting. So uh, Videodrome is up next. Um, see you in Pittsburgh, right? Uh, not what I say. Video, video. What I say. Videodrome is up next. I don't mean that. Scanners. The, the discussion in terms of our David Cronenberg film discussions is up next, and of course after that we'll talk about uh, the great, great Videodrome again. See you in Pittsburgh. <laughs> All right. Um, Let's see. Gerald says, Virgin Suicide is a stunning directorial debut by Sofia and release, uh, Coppola and release from Criterion. Yes, I agree. I agree. Um, also, I've been, uh, I had, I have somewhere here and I've, I've misplaced it, but uh, I was also playing um, uh, Air, right? Uh, Playground Love, that's another. I had, I have the, the uh, the the song CD and then I have the the music soundtrack from the film. So there are two CDs, as far as I recall, uh, in terms of the Virgin Suicides. Um, I think so. Uh, I I had two CDs, if I recall. I found one of them. Um, I don't remember where the other one was, but uh, the they both got a lot of play when I was uh, you know back in the day. And so, uh, Playground Love. Uh, inc incidentally, to the, the music video, you can find the music video um, on the release, the earlier Blu-ray release, and then, of course, this recent uh, uh, Blu-ray 4K UHD combo. Uh, so uh, it's very interesting with the with the gum. Yeah. Uh, gosh, what a film that is. Um, much to say. Let's see. Um, Giovanni says, how many days a month you watch movies not not um i don't keep track lately i i don't i don't know about month but maybe i don't know maybe a few days a week not every day but a few days a week i suppose um blah blah says have you seen scanner cop yes yes i see. uh scanner cop i remember when that was released on vhs and you saw this yeah scanner cop uh, VHS rental. What is this film? And wow, very interesting. This was also right um, when the Scanner franchise was taking off uh, in terms of Scanner Two, Scanner Three. The what was it? Um, what's Scanner Three? Um, uh, Scanners Two, the Takeover, Scanners Three, uh, New Order. I think um, uh, the uh, uh, what was I saying? We're talking about scanners, so everything's coming full circle in terms of scanners. It's great. Um, Everett is here. Hello. Graybow is here. Hello. Uh, Mr. Anita Bong hit. Hello. And you say, I don't always interact, but I always enjoy uh, any of your videos, whether movies or not. Thanks for making the channel. You are very, very kind, my dear friend. Gray, 1951 Media Channel, our dear friend. Hello. It's nice to see you. Uh, Pain Raven is here. Hello. Uh, Ross Anglin is here. Hello, it's nice to see you. You say, try to unwind with a great movie when you get the chance. Yes, thank you. Last night, uh, I was able to watch, once again, Mission Impossible. Brian De Palma, Mission Impossible. Red light, green light. Asta lasagna, don't get any on ya. So, that's, that's great. Um, um, uh, when we talk about the Brian De Palma films, which is also on the menu, uh, I can't wait to talk about uh, it'll... that scene. Yeah, that's great. And uh, um, that's one of those things where, uh, although I, when I talk about Mission Impossible, uh, I have to say, whoever made that trailer, do you remember the trailer when it was when Mission Impossible? If you haven't seen Mission Impossible, don't watch the trailer for Mission Impossible because it shows everything. I, I don't know why why they made that trailer the way they did, but uh but uh oh well, let's uh, but anyway I, I i guess i shouldn't be too hard on the people who make trailers it's a pretty hard job so uh, but in any event uh mission impossible yes uh what a great film that's super super confusing i remember the joke that uh, was had at the oscars that year with uh with B billy crystal 
and Billy Crystal was uh, in just getting into doing the thing what he does where he he inserts himself in comedic sketches in all the Oscar nominated movies and that year the film one of the films nominated for the Academy Award for Best Picture was I think Jerry Maguire it was also a Tom Cruise film and he says and and uh, he's talking to the uh, uh, he's he's uh, sitting in uh, Billy Crystal is uh, sitting in in the comedy sketch uh, sitting in the position of uh, Cuba Gooding Jr.'s character I believe and he says um, you know uh, he's making all the demands to Jerry Maguire fine 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 and he says one of the things he says is I want you to explain to me the plot of Mission Impossible because the whole joke was Mission Impossible's plot was too complicated what no one knows what's going on but you kind of see it and you think there's a lot of moving pieces but it's it, it's not I don't think it's I don't think it's totally impossible to to get but the point is not the pl the plot is the whole plot is the MacGuffin that's the MacGuffin so um uh it's not uh it, it's not totally necessary to get all the nitty-gritty details of the plot but the fact that the plot is actually confusing that's part of the, the brilliance of of the work and in fact there was a very very there's a key scene and I would set count it as being one of the key sequences in Brian De Palma's filmography, in terms of what we see in 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 uh, what we see and what we don't see, and what we see in terms of truth and and reality and lies. So, uh, but in any event, yeah, great stuff. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, Special K is here. Thank you so much. Uh, you are very kind. Very very kind indeed. Uh, Zamorex uh, 720 says best pizza film uh, in my opinion is Spider-Man 2 ooh very nice I, I did I uh, Spider-Man 2 uh, I, I guess I've done this before but here my Spider-Man 2 uh, Im impersonation or impression if it's worth anything I don't think it's worth it but anyway I guess this is the train right okay so anyway um so uh let's see here is Stuart morris is here hello it's nice to see you uh talking about scanners yes uh cory is here um uh, oh ninja turtles well done yes i have mentioned this before teenage mutant ninja turtles the film i always i i love that film but i, I was always struck by the lyric of the the, the song um rafael he's the leader of the group transformed from the norm by the nuclear goop I was always under the impression that Leonardo was the leader of the group, right? Because of the, the cartoon series. Uh, 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 there's Leonardo, Donatello, Raphael, and Michelangelo. And so, but Raphael became the leader. So I'm not steeped in the lore of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I know Teenage Mutant, I knew Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles only from the cartoon. And then the film came out. Huge, huge thing. Although there's a lot to say about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, actually. Um, and... Uh, uh, right, April O'Neil, Casey Joe. Again, there's another interesting connection uh, between Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and uh, and Crash, David Cronenberg. But that's a tale for another day. And then also uh, Secret of the Use. I'm a huge fan of Secret of the Use. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles to Secret of the Use. Uh, uh, Ninja Rap, and uh, the late great David Warner. Right, uh, in terms of. Uh, 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 great connections, and uh, there's a the, the the scene that I remember so much is when uh, the David Warner character is watching the 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 Ninja Rap performance, of Vanilla Ice. Ah, uh, and I, I say that so sincerely. That's such a lovely moment. Such a lovely moment. Um. Anyway, uh, just going through. MC Huber's here. Hello. Oh, Andrew Conger's here. Hello. It's nice to see you. Uh, uh, let's see, Gray Bow is here again. I, uh, you, you've made a comment. I know you you were mentioned earlier. So, let's see. Uh, Zarathustra mentions do the right thing to pizza. Of course. Oh gosh, pizza movies. We should do uh, pizza movies. Uh, Timothy Bob Gunn. So there's a Batman reference. Uh, wonderful. Yes. Uh, Hayden is here. Hayden Welch. It's nice to see you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, and you also uh, moved recently as well, so I hope it, you are settled in, my dear friend. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, Chiggers uh, talks about Del Toro. Yes, Del Toro. I haven't spoken about Del Toro's work at all on this channel. That is another failing. I have so many failings, and that's one big one. So, um, uh, so yes, uh, Chiggers, yes. Um, uh, sorry about this. Stuart Morris, hello. Talking about Godard and Le Mecque Contempt. Yes. Uh, yeah, 
Oh, yes. Um, uh, crispy, are these the new dates? Yes, this is. It looks the same, but it's. I'll, I'll do a proper, proper uh, video uh, when everything is cleaned up. Um, so, uh, BL36 is here. Hello, it's nice to see you. Uh, just scrolling. Cooper Clever or 72, it's nice to see you. Uh, Crispy says Superman 3 was 1983. Thank you very much. Thank you. Again, just scrolling down here. Um, scrolling down the chat. I apologize. Um, yes. Uh, let's see. David Devolution. Oh, David Devolution is here. Hello. Talking about Richard Burton. Oh, gosh, what's a... Uh, gosh, I'm sorry. I haven't... Um, uh, I, I, I'm, I don't know if it's my favorite Richard Burton film, but the film that is on the forefront of my mind at the moment for certain reasons that I might talk about later this year is, um, uh, Exorcist to the Heretic. Oh, Mystical905 is here. Hello, it's nice to see you. Just scrolling down here. Beyonder is here. Paul is here. Paul Emery is here. Hello. It's nice to see you. Oh, I'm sorry. I just I scrolled down. I'm scrolling down. If I I'm I'm trying to uh, pick up on on uh, people who I haven't mentioned yet. So if I if I or I'm just trying to uh, uh, read out as many comments as possible. I'm so bad at this. I'm so apolo I, I apologize. Also, it is getting towards that part of the time where I might have to uh, end this soon. So, uh, but anyway, Beyonder is here. Hello. Um, oh, Cooper Glover had said, you know, born in Cleveland, Ohio, and now live in Connecticut. So we have a, a double connection. So I have that connection with Ohio. I used to live in Connecticut too. So uh, Cooper Glover, we have those connections. I feel like we are, we we have those, uh, that it's it's like a, a lovely, one of those lovely world celestial uh, connections, you know? Gosh, the, you know, the internet has has its has its tough times, has its... I mean, I admit to it has its slings and arrows. It has those things where, oh, I don't like the internet today. It's kind of, uh, you know. But there are also times where the internet's great. And one of those examples is uh, finding the connection with uh, with Cooper Glover like this and with many other friends like you. So I wouldn't have been able to do that uh, without the internet. So uh, thank you so much. Um, all right, scrolling down here. Uh, Dark Shadows. Oh, Gerald mentions Dark Shadows. Okay. Yes. Um, again, scrolling down, Paul is talking from the heat of Kansas. Oh, my dear friend, I hope all is well. I've never had the, the pleasure of visiting Kansas. Uh, so, uh, but, uh, uh, I don't, I don't know directly what the heat is like during the summer months, but, uh, if it is hot or if it is quite hot or maybe even, uh, um, uh, seasonably hot or maybe even beyond seasonably hot. In whatever the case, I hope you are well, my dear, dear friend, Paul. Our dear, dear friend, Paul. Uh, let's see, scrolling down. Uh, Zamorak is talking about Evangelion. So yes, huge, huge fan, but never spoken about it. I've always wanted to speak about it, but maybe one day. Hayden is uh, saying, going to see my favorite film, A Brighter Summer Day. On 35 millimeter this weekend, couldn't be more excited. What can I say? What, what can I say? Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> you got to tell me how that is. Oh, my gosh. I, ah, oh, what I would, oh, gosh. If the opportunity were to arise to be able to see a brighter summer day on 35 in the theater for me, Wow, I'd oh, what would I? I'd show up like two hours before. Oh gosh, just wait, just oh, I I think I wake up early. Oh my goodness, you gotta tell me what that is like, uh, Hayden. Please, please, uh, drop me a line or a comment or or uh, reach out to me, uh, Instagram Messenger, whatever. To let me know, please, please, please. I'd love to hear about that. Uh, Crowd Tricks uh, is here. Hello, Mizuguchi or Kurosawa is that, is. Uh, is that a question or is it maybe a choice between the two? It's I don't it's I I don't know if I would be able to choose, but uh, both 
are uh, they have their own uh, very powerful elements of course of course uh let's see um scrolling down here uh chun link says i'm sorry for the question daisuke but i'm moving soon so i was wondering what is a safe way to move my movie collection i have dvds blu-rays and a few vhs's I, I don't know. I guess it depends on the distance, depends on the size, also depends on what you are intending. Uh, I, I chose to have, <laughs> I chose the manual method of going by bicycle and putting things in a little bit of a, in bags and then transporting the bags myself in a little cart that I have in front of my bicycle or in, on the t head of my bicycle and then just riding my bicycle to, to and from the place. Um, so it was, uh, my goodness, I think I injured my, my foot because, uh, the, my left foot here, there's a, a very kind of a irritating pain that won't go away. And I think it is due to, among other things, the, uh, the heavy loads that I was transporting on bicycle, which is something that I, I don't usually do. And so my, I think my body is reacting in that way. Uh, but I don't know if I would recommend the bicycle method because, of course, if it rains, you are subject to the, the whims of nature and the weather. So uh, I don't know if uh, it's the best way to do it. But uh, if you have a reliable moving company or if you are able to put it in boxes and maybe protect the boxes with some bubble wrap or something, if that's necessary, uh, that might be the way to go. And also maybe if you have titles in particular, and that just doesn't go to only for uh, Blu-rays. It also goes for any of your valuables. Of course, if there's anything really, really valuable, be sure that uh, you know where it is, and you, you so you don't lose it or you don't um, lose sight of it because it is the 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 heightened the 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 most intense time that one can lose things is of course during a move. So I remember that I was so panicked <laughs> because there's the um, uh, there's the uh, special release of the David Cronenberg film Rabbit. And uh, uh, it had a limited edition booklet. And I couldn't find the booklet. And I was like, where's the booklet? Where's the booklet to Rabid? I couldn't find it anywhere. And then uh, uh, much later, I was able to find it. And, and uh, I was just relieved. I said, ah. And my family was in the room with me as I found the book. And they were just looking at me like, why are you, why are you so relieved? And I said, oh, gosh. I'm sorry for, for this, over sh this display of um, emotion over this little book. But uh, it really means a lot. And so they, they understood that and they, they understood. Uh, I mean, I, I guess, you know, it's, it's one of those things where uh, my family love, I, I hope that they love that I love this stuff, but they don't necessarily share in the same degree that I do. Uh, but that's okay as well. But in the meantime, so there are those moments where maybe I have this reaction. It's out of context for them, but uh, it's it's totally within context in my own head. And then I explain that and they kind of understand. But yes, it was that little thing. The, the the booklet so anyway uh i hope the move goes well my friend all right it's 9 a.m here so i have to get going so i will just go through this really quickly mc huber's going through the indicator film noir sets well done uh let's see uh uh keenomes is here from korea hello from korea hello uh uh greetings from tokyo i hope you're well that's very nice to see you keenomes i hope i pronounced the the name correctly um ace video video store ultra q Ooh, well done well done uh everyone is uh talking about the packing is packaging yourself i think that's a good way to to do it jackie wacky is here uh breathless uh you, that's jean-luc godard is that enough i think breathless is a great great film um uh qu'est-ce que c'est um, uh, right oh gosh new york herald tribune right um uh, let's see. Uh, Pain, Pain Raven's talking about a double feature, Kiki's Delivery Service, and then uh, Tetsuo the Iron Man. Fantastic. I love both films in their own way. Um, oh, gosh. Don't get me started on, on Kiki's Delivery Service. Uh, um, I don't know. And I saw it as a, as a teenager. It was great. But now I'm watching it, and I have a daughter who is... Uh, the, oh my gosh the same age as kiki oh and i look like the dad oh my gosh all right uh yeah that's that's tough oh i mean in a good way in a good way but um there's a there's a moment at the very start of the film like the first the opening where 
uh, Kiki's dad and Kiki are, are alone and they're talking and 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 uh, Kiki says, Dad, I'm, I'm paraphrasing, Dad, Dad, pick me up like you did when I was a kid. And he, he does. He, and there's a moment where he kind of struggles. There's a little moment where he struggles. And, uh, oh, I, oh <laughs> that gets to me right now. All right. Uh, all right. Yeah. What a great film. Yeah, uh, Kikoa Silva, oh, it's Kikoa is here, uh, got any favorite John Carpenter movies? I've spoken about John Carpenter on this channel, uh, so I have, I think, a, a something, uh, like my top ranking John Carpenter film, but great, I love John Carpenter, fantastic. Um, just scrolling down here, again, sorry about the time, um, let's see, scrolling down, if I'm skipping over your comments, I apologize, again, I'm just short on time, I really didn't plan this out, I really should have, I apologize, uh, okay, um, let's see, oh, and Graybow says, uh, to Jackie Wacky and to others, you know, no one has to have criterions, you know, I totally respect it, you know, criterions are great, and all labels, but you don't, there's no rule that says you have to have a criterion title, they're great, but you don't have to have it, you do what works for you, my dear friends. I, you know, I, I always believe that. I continue to believe that. Your path is your own, right? Your cinema journey is your own. And it's the fact that you're sharing part of your cinema journey with me and with others here. That is the joy. That is the treasure. So uh, well done to all of you, my dear friends. Yes, but for me, for me personally, a criterion at the moment anyway is still very important in terms of my own cinema journey. So that's that's for me. But for you, anything works. Anything goes, my friends. Uh, SJS Arts is here. Hello, our dear friend. It's nice to see you. All right, scrolling now again. Sorry. Traveling Man is here. Nice. Uh, uh, Backman is here. Hello. Uh, Samuel Stevens is here. Hello. Miao uh, Nian. Ohayou gozaimasu. Uh, nice to see you, uh, scrolling down again, just, again, I apologize, Cooper, hello, it's nice to see you, uh, Pedro E is here, it's nice to see you, um, scrolling down, scrolling, again, I'm skipping over a lot of comments, um, as told by Gonzo has left a super chat, you say, long time fan, thank you for the amazing film recommendations over the years, take care. As told by Gonzo, you are very, very kind. That was You didn't have to do that. And you did so all the same. Thank you so much. As told by Gonzo, thank you so much. That 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 means a lot. Thank you. Again, totally unnecessary, but uh, you... Thank you so much. Thank you. I will... Um, after this is over, I have to... Or not have to. I have not yet ordered online the the blu-ray of crimes of the future david cronenberg so i don't even know if it's is it available now i, I get a pre-order i'm not sure but i i do want to uh, get that so uh i admit i'm a little bit low on my spending money uh this month so uh this will help me to make that purchase of uh, crimes of the future for uh, by cronenberg so thank you as, t as told by gonzo thank you and gerald lang as well left a, a super chat a little something to bless you during your move. Thank you so much, Gerald, as well. Yes, this will also go uh, a long way for me in terms of making that purchase of the crimes of the future. <laughs> so thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate this. Thank you uh, very much. Um, Justin F. is here. Hello. It's nice to see you. Um, Stuart Morris is saying, I'm 41 today, and I saw that film, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, in the cinema. Loved it. I was obsessed with TM, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles as a kid. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, uh, if you're hyping up this movie, I'll give it uh, a, a try as an old man. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, oh, it's, it's wonderful. Although, yeah, well, I, I don't want to get into too much of the detail, but they do. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Shredder and Splinter and that backstory. Anyway. Uh, but, um, okay. Um, let's see. Uh, Cartwheel vi video is here. You saw the new 4K transfer of Heat. Oh, gosh. Uh, at the IFC Center. Wow, wow, yes, yes, Heat. Um, I've spoken a little bit about Heat here. Um, right. Um, oh, gosh. Uh, don't, right. Uh, <laughs> there's a scene. What is it? Oh, gosh, don't get me started on Heat. I have to go. Oh, gosh, don't get me started on Heat. Um, um, 
uh, right? Um, uh, that's the discipline, right? Or what is it? Um, uh, that, that great scene I saw with my mom in the theater, and she, yes, it was that scene where, uh, right, when Pacino said, I'm going to do a very bad Pacino here, but you know what they're looking at? You know what they're looking at? Us. LAPD. Police Department. We just got made. Yeah! And you see, yeah! Okay, right. Oh, it's great. All right. Let's see. Um, all right. Uh, Raven McAllister's here. It's nice to see you. Favorite movie soundtrack? I don't know if I have a favorite one. It's hard to choose, but I've spoken about one. Uh, let me just mention it again. Uh, George Romero's The Unreleased uh, Music sa uh, Score from uh, Dawn of the Dead, The Gonk. You know, although I like the last, I like the um, uh, track number 11 and track number uh, 12 and 13. Actually, I like all of them. Oh, 10. Yeah, actually, I like all of them here. Um, Frank is here. Hello. It's nice to see you, Frank. It's always nice to see you, my dear. For Garrett, uh, Crow, what film do you most or do you want most on the criteria? I don't know if it's my number one, number one ultimate must have or not, but a Edward Yang box set it has all the feature films including a Confusion Confusion and Mahjong, and also That Day on the Beach. Um, um, right. Everything. Everything. Don't know if it will ever happen. But, uh, anyway, fingers crossed. Andrew's here. Uh, speaking of Heat, I was about to mention Heat 2, the book. I haven't gotten it yet. I don't know if I'm going to... I'm not sure, but we'll see. We'll see. Um... Just scrolling down here. Let's see. Uh, scrolling down here. Uh, Scalder twenty two. Hello, it's hello. Uh, Kinom says, "Ask, do you have a Letterbox account?" Not at the moment. I I think Letterbox is great, but I just don't use it. Um, I really should try to do it more, but it's tough, tough uh, because of time, you know. And I'm so like, I don't know. I I try to use my my phone. And I always drop. I I'm I'm one of those people who drops my iPhone every day. So I have a case, but it, I have one of those cases where you drop it and the case opens and you drop it. So it, it, op it opens, the case open and it f uh, lands flat on the surface of the, so I have a cracked iPhone at the moment. So, uh, so yeah, so I'm, that's my way of saying I'm very, very uh, not savvy when it comes to, uh, to devices and the like, but anyway, um, all right. Yes. Uh, cartwheel. Uh, continues about that. I feel like you are needed on Letterbox. I said, well, that's a very kind thing to say. Thank you so much for that. Thank you. Uh, David is here. Hi, you say, hi, Daisuke. Nice to see you. I hope the process of moving to a new place is going. It's going very good so far. Tiring, exhausting, uh, but I can't complain. Those aren't complaints. I can't complain about that. Uh, very, very rewarding indeed. Um, uh, uh, David asks, are there any fans here of Michael Mann's Thief? Yes. Yes, um, uh, I drink your milkshake. I drink your milkshake. I'm sorry, I can't do impressions today. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, I, I'll, I'll finish with the impressions. Oh wait, I'm finished with the impressions. All right. So anyway, um, uh, Gleaming TV is here. It's nice to see you. Romero Flores is here. Um, uh, what type of brand and size is your television set? I have. There are two television sets. One is a very small one, which is right there in the in uh, right there off camera, which is uh, not a uh, it's not a 4K TV, uh, anything, but that's a small one where I have the Laserdisc player hooked up. I have a, a Blu-ray player hooked up and I have a VH, uh, VHS VCR hooked up. And then there's one in the main room, which is off outside there. And that's for family use. And that's a larger one. I forget the dimensions, but it was a larger one. It is a 4K player. It's a Sony 4K not player, but a TV with a 4K player. And so when that's where I watch the 4K titles. And if the 4K titles, uh, the movies are maybe of a, of, of a type that maybe it's not appropriate to watch with the family, like a, like a really gross, uh, bloody special effects extravaganza or something like that. Or something with intense scenes of violence or or uh, uh, maybe a sexual intimacy and the like, uh, then I'll wait until everyone is asleep and then I'll, I'll go into the room and, and watch the 4K title on there. So uh, so that's the main player in that room. But the smaller TV here is, is uh, for uh, other things, uh, non-4K related, I suppose. Um, and also Laserdiscs and the like. Uh, let's see the scrolling down. 
Um, let's see. Uh, okay. Scrolling down. All right. So I think, I think I am, I am going to be going. All right. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for, for your time. Again, I really, really appreciate it. This is just an impromptu live stream discussion. Nothing of any, nothing of any, uh, of any type of uh, dire circumstance or significance attached to it. Again, uh, nothing uh, seriously affecting this channel. This is merely uh, just, I mean, among other things, it's to test the Wi-Fi environment to see if the live stream works. It seems to be working okay. Just seeing also what the situation of the move is here. Still a work in progress. It's a mess. So uh, these will hopefully be a bit more. Oh, I forgot the soundtrack's still a Clockwork Orange. What am I saying? Clockwork Orange soundtrack. Anyway, um, and um, uh, the and then also for my vantage point, the most important thing was to. Uh, uh, get in touch with you. I was going to make a video and then edit it and upload it, but I thought, gosh, why not just do the, the live stream touch? And just, uh, again, we are separated by the distance of many miles, but there's something about the live stream that has a, I don't know, maybe a close connect. I don't know, maybe it's just me, I don't know, but it feels like there's a little bit of a close connection there. So I wanted to have that today. So uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for that and for stopping by uh, and uh, continue the conversations. Of course, the conversations about cinema and life continue. Uh, I, you know, I don't have to be here. You can continue them on your own. You can continue them with your friends and the people you've met here and elsewhere. So please do so. Uh, but if ever you have the opportunity and if ever you are okay with it, please stop by anytime and let me know a little bit about your cinema journeys, my dear friends, anything at all. Uh, I'm always, I always feel blessed and lucky that you'd be willing to share a little bit of that with me. That's a little bit of your, your, yourself, right? That's a little bit of like your, uh, of something, you know, and it becomes this, this thing where, where you can kind of get to know people. I, I have this belief that you, you can really get to know people by the films that they are talking about and they really enjoy it. but not just in terms of the films themselves but also the way in which they interact with them the way in which they uh, they talk with them and they share that with me and they share that with other people there's something very magical about that so so uh, and i i very much i i that's kind of a reward for me is to hear about that so um uh, thank you so much my dear friends thank you so much for for uh, stopping by and for always sharing uh, a little bit of yourselves uh, with me and with everyone else here. I always appreciate it. All right, so last thing is, um, uh, Inframagine is here, yes. Uh, you made it just in time. All right, and I hope that all is well. All right, my dear friends, thank you. Thank you, and have a great rest of the day wherever you are in the world. And uh, until we meet again, please be happy and healthy and well. And please keep on watching a lot of great, great movies. All right. Thank you so much. And cheers. Thank you. We're still on. We're still on, right? All right. All right. Oh, here we go. All right. Sorry about that. Take care, my friends. I'm still on. Okay. All right. Take care, my friends. All right. Thank you. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, people, uh, Budiono is here. Hi from Indonesia. Love your content. Hope you'll enjoy the new place. Maybe do a setup tour of where you watch movies now. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, my dear. I'm glad I was able to catch. Oh, Matthew Lenton. I did. I, I don't know if I mentioned you. You're still on. Thank you so much. So Matthew Lenton and people, uh, Buniona, thank you so much. All right, my dear friends. Hope you're well. All of you, all of you, take care, and we'll talk again very soon. Cheers. I'm still on. What's going on?
It's frozen. The button's frozen. Hold on. All right, hold on. Let me try this again. Hold on. All right, let me try that. Uh oh. Is this going to be perpetually on? Oh, gosh, I, I want to... Gosh, what are we going to do? I want to... I got to change my shirt. What are we going to do? I, I, okay, hold on. Uh, hold on, hold on. Yes, I don't want to go. Yes, I want to stay. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, here we go. All right. Bye-bye.